Hello, I'm Ryan Jenkins. In this video, we're gonna cover three questions leaders must answer for their followers. I get this question a lot. Maybe you have gotten it too, or maybe you think about it a lot. And that question is this, how do I lead this distraction prone generation? A generation that seems to be consumed in their phone. Well, before I answer that question, I think we need to understand this, that phones aren't to blame for distracted employees. A lack of a compelling narrative is the problem. So fulfillment is not found through scrolling, but by contributing to a worthy mission. If we have the alternative to contribute and to um, experience progress, we're gonna choose that before or over what we can find on our phone. Scrolling is not fulfilling, right? That's not something any of us really want to do. We're not <laughs> trying to scroll more. It's just, we will choose that when the alternative is less attractive. So what we have to do as leaders and as organizations, as marketers, whatever it might be, we need to create, create more compelling narratives and we need to make the alternative more appealing than the vice, which is hard, hard to do. The, the standard has been raised. So I like to think of it from, from this perspective. I'm a professional communicator. Oftentimes I'm in front of large groups like, like the one you see here. And anytime I take the stage, I am competing with hundreds of text messages, thousands of emails, social media, gaming, sports updates. I mean, all this stuff is in the palm of the hand of every single person in the audience. And never once have I asked my audience to turn off their devices. I've never said that. Why? Because I think that would position me as an outdated leader and an outdated communicator, and that is the easy way out. So instead, we, we have to start thinking about that we cannot demand attention anymore. We've got to earn it. We've got to create the compelling narrative. We've got to create a compelling alternative to what's on our devices. So the responsibility is on the communicator to create compelling narratives to engage audiences. That's why I use lots of transitions. That's why I use content that builds. That's why I use um, engaging um, design with my slides. That's why I use live mobile polling where they can use their device and interact. That's why I tell stories. That's why we get them engaged. So there's all these kinds of things. There's more accountability and responsibility on me as a communicator to be better to capture the attention of that very distracted audience. Now this is a personal example, but I'm sure you can draw a lot of parallels for how you communicate, how you're leading, et cetera. So the action I'm here to consider is to invite teams into a compelling narrative. And you do that by answering the three burning questions every follower secretly asks of their leader. And those three questions are, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? And how do I fit in? That last one's really important. The first two are likely gonna be the same across the organization, but that third one, that is hyper unique to the individual. And as soon as we can dial that in, as soon as individuals have clarity on those three questions, they're gonna <laughs> unglue themselves from their device because they actually have clear direction and they want to make progress towards a worthy mission. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope that was helpful. If you have questions on this content or wanna learn more about my services, uh, whether that be virtual or in person, simply email me at ryan at ryan-jenkins.com. We'd love to connect and explore and uh, see if we might be able to work together. If you're interested in taking this content and delivering in a digital course format, simply visit syncLX.com and you can learn more about some of our offerings as it relates to digital courses, as well as creating custom learning content um, and or inserting this uh, type of training in your learning management systems. Thanks again for your time and attention. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.